Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning in today's video. Real quick, I forgot to do an intro for the video. Well, for this video, obviously. I forgot to do an intro when I tested out the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. It has sunscreen of SPF 25 in this uh, foundation. It's actually the foundation I'm wearing again today. I really have been liking this foundation, spoiler alert. Infallible full wear more than concealer. This is it right here. You'll see in the demo how both of these products worked out for me, if they worked out for me, if they did or not. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into that video. I'll have on something completely different, but I did want to come in and do this intro for you guys. So if you're new to this channel and enjoy the content that I put out, go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you in the K-Squad. And until next time, beauties, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Later, y'all. I wanted to show you guys how the foundation matches with other shades in my collection. So this here is the L'Oreal Infallible L'Oreal Infallible 515, Maybelline Super Stay 355, Maybelline Dewy and Smooth 355, Nits Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mocha, Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G100, Fenty 420, and Lancome 510 Suite. All right, y'all, so we're going to get into this demo portion of the L'Oreal 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Again, mine is in the shade 515 Copper. This foundation comes in 30 different shades, which is a pretty good shade range. And guys, if you're interested in this foundation, jump on it right now, because when I went to Google the information on this foundation, I found out Target has a 32% price drop which brings the cost to seven dollars and 49 cents the retail value is 14.99 also normally has higher prices than most other stores so i would definitely check target or like walmart or something like that first but again the retail price is 14.99 the foundation claims to have medium coverage be lightweight long wear sweat resistant waterproof transfer proof and also is non-comedogenic which means it won't clog your pores uh l'oreal does have a full ingredient listing on their website so i'll be sure to link that down below underneath this video so you guys can check that out and another plus on this foundation is that it actually has an spf of 25. now moving on to the concealer this is the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer and I didn't write down the price of this one, but if I'm not mistaken, it was like maybe like $11. I know I got mine off of Amazon, so I may have paid like $10. But again, I'll have links down underneath this video so you guys can check it out. And you guys, you know, if you're interested in it. But this full wear concealer claims to be full coverage, waterproof, lasts up to 24 hours, have a flawless matte finish, and it says it won't transfer, fade, or flake. And another good thing about this concealer is that it actually comes in 25 shades. So I really commend L'Oreal for this shade range. Now, if you see this part of the demo, my face here tells you when everything went left. I just knew this was not the concealer for me, as you can see in this still here. But the show must go on. I'm going to continue to apply it, demo it, wear it. You guys can check it out as I... Um, y'all can check out the application and then stay tuned towards the end of the video where you get my thoughts now for the foundation I have worn this foundation plenty of times before you'll actually be seeing it in more videos to come because I am really feeling the foundation it is pretty much everything it claims to be very much long wearing definitely a medium but buildable to full coverage it, um, I can't speak on the sweat proof you know sweat resistant waterproof transfer proof i can't speak on that just yet if you want me to come back and give you guys my final thoughts on this these products definitely let me know but this concealer just definitely was not the move for me and you'll see why in a couple of minutes but i just figured since i haven't recorded in a long time i thought you guys enjoy watching me get ready for work i did speed it up so enjoy this all the products will be listed down below that i used on my face for the day and if you have any other questions or thoughts on these products definitely let me know down in the comments below let me know if you try these products i look forward to chatting with you guys down in the comments below what you playing on hi ladder mm -hmm. i know
guys this is my midday check-in the foundation is a pretty good match and like i said i've worn this foundation a couple of times before i do like the foundation but this concealer though i am not feeling this concealer like you can see the creases you see how it creases into my lines and it's only 1202 right now so i'm on my break for work and under here you can see where my allergies aren't doing so good today as you saw earlier in the video my eye was red it's not red no more but with these allergies it started to get crusty up under here like this is not a good look so we'll see if i can salvage it when i get home and we'll see how that goes